Hi, I'm Ryan McDonald, standing for Ricardo Torres today for Beautiful Joe 2, which is the up-and-coming follow-up to Capcom's original GameCube adventure from last year. While basically a 2D side-scroller, the game's fresh approach that blends impressive cel-shaded visuals with surprisingly fresh gameplay breathe new life into the well-worn genre. Capcom's Clover Studio is aiming to refine its winning formula with the addition of some new gameplay elements. We recently had the opportunity to check out a new work-in-progress version of the game, which is poised for a release next month on the GameCube and PlayStation 2. Beautiful Joe 2's story sticks pretty close to the hallmarks of any proper action game sequel. In Beautiful Joe 2, the happy ending brought about by the original game doesn't last too long, since it's up to Joe to save the day once again from the evil Black Emperor, who's a new villain whose plans are nothing less than world domination. In order to deal with this new threat, Joe must venture through Movie World, a considerably bigger place with appropriately bigger threats. Joining Joe this time out is Sylvia with her recently acquired V-Watch. Sylvia dons her own super suit, complete with pom-poms to help Joe save the day. The structure of the game is similar to the original. You're still going to be going from one movie theme stage to the next, battling enemies and solving puzzles using your VFX powers. You'll have access to a total of four powers, slow, mock, speed, zoom, and the all-new replay. Slow slows down to everything around you. Mock speed does just the opposite and lets you move like lightning. Zoom brings the camera in close as you perform stylish moves that leaves your enemy spellbound. Replay is the newcomer to the mix and lets you record an action and perform it three times in rapid succession if you get the timing right, thus letting you do three times the damage during an attack or earn three times the health if you trigger it while having a snap. The flow of the game will be given some variety thanks to levels where you use the six machine, the pair's trusty vehicle, to get around. As you progress through the game, you'll be able to earn new moves for Joe and Sylvia and upgrade their abilities by visiting a shop in between levels and cashing in the coins you earn. One of the biggest new features in Beautiful Joe 2 is the Beautiful Touch, a fancy way of saying on-the-fly character swap. Over the course of your adventure, you'll be able to swap between Joe and Sylvia whenever you like. Swapping characters is now a vital part of the game, going through areas as Joe and Sylvia now have a unique set of VFX powers, each to their own. Joe will have the original three powers from the first game, slow, mock speed, and zoom, while Sylvia will have slow, mock speed, and replay. In order to solve the many puzzles in the game, you'll have to use the pair's abilities at the proper time. Beautiful Joe 2 is looking as solid as its predecessor. The graphics aren't seeing a quantum leap over the original game. What we've seen so far shows off more of a refinement, but still looks great. Joe and Sylvia look sharp and suitably heroic. The environments are well done and draw from a broader range of movies for inspiration, translating into a greater variety of locales. The audio in the game is on par with the original game, with peppy over-emoted voices, catchy tunes, and dramatic sound effects to sell the whole experience. Based on what we played so far, Beautiful Joe 2 is looking extremely promising. The tweaking Clover has done to the Beautiful Joe formula is feeling pretty good. The game appears to retain the appeal and accessibility of its predecessor while adding in some very cool new elements. Whether you own a GameCube or a PlayStation, you'll want to keep an eye out for Beautiful Joe 2 when it ships next month.